Welcome to another episode of Barley Pop. My name is Doug Booth. I'm the president of Buck Bean Brewing Company. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history of how Buck Bean Brewing Company started. Um, it all started back in 1988. Uh, I was visiting my brother up in Portland, Oregon one time, and uh, he said, why don't you come to a beer festival with me and, you know, twist my arm. So we went to that, and it was the very first Oregon Brewers Festival that had, it was under one tent, and it had, I think, up to 50 beers, but it was just something I had no idea even existed. And I was able to go out there and try all these amazing beers that had all this flavor. I thought I was so uh, hip and cool by drinking some imports that were just kind of light lagered beers. And here I was trying all this amazing craft beer that had all these different malts and hops, and I was just so intrigued with it. And I, I had no idea that you could have a small brewery. Someday I thought, I'm gonna be in this business. So from that point on, I started researching where all the brew pubs and microbreweries were, and in my travels, which I've had the opportunity to do quite a bit of in work and pleasure, I would always seek out these places. I'd go into them, talk to the brewmasters, owners if they were available, and just kind of see the ambiance of places and kind of picked up what I liked and what I didn't like and what I thought was working and whatnot and just kind of lock that inside the head here. Um, then in uh, mid-90s, I started going to grad school up in Missoula and I went to Big Sky Brewing Company and that's where I kind of figured out what I wanted to do with brewing. Um, they just gave you free samples, they gave back to the community, and they treated all their customers like they were the best. Like, there's the perfect model. I didn't want a restaurant because that was a second business, and I just wanted to concentrate on making great beer, giving back to the community, and just having a great time with our customers. So uh, later, in 2000, um, dating my now wife and I had told her I got to have my own business someday and I wanted, didn't want to surprise her after we got married. She said, that's great, just as long as we have a house, we're settled and then we can do it. And sure enough, about a year after we were settled and had a house, I was disgruntled at work and she's like, well, I guess it's time to start that brewery. And I was, I was like, that was the most exciting thing I'd ever heard, but at the same time, it was kind of an oh crap moment. And because uh, I knew what I, how to run a brewery the way it should be, but I realized I don't know how to get to that point. So I knew I had a lot of work ahead of me. I told her it would probably take two years to get it open, but I dove right in, started taking some uh, seminars, talked to score counselors, development centers, uh, learned how to write a business plan, found a business partner kind of right away that was a brewmaster because I knew I couldn't be the brewmaster and run the business. And uh, that worked out for about a year. My partner and I didn't work out, which was fine, but at the craft brewing conference, I uh, talked to some of the brewing schools and they were just like, why don't you send us an ad? It's like, you're looking for a brewmaster to start a brewery in Reno and try it from there. And we'll send it out to all of our grad students, so, or graduates. And I figured, why not? So I did that, then put that ad on probrewer.com, the Brewers Forum, and sure enough, I got plenty of brewers going, hey, I'd love to own a brewery with you. But uh, Dan Kahn, the current brewmaster and co-founder, um, was the only one that responded saying, I want to help write the business plan. His, basically he was saying, just like myself, we were sick of working for people making bad choices. We decided we wanted to make our own bad choices. So um, we worked very well together. He moved his family out from Massachusetts to Reno halfway through his daughter's high school freshman year. So that was kind of traumatic on that end, but in the end, everyone was really happy. And it took us five years to get up and running. Raising the money was by far the hardest part. And we were told that, and no doubt that truly is the hardest thing about starting a brewery. And um, we got open, we've been open for almost two years now and it's just been the best thing in my life. I've never worked so hard in my life, but I've never been happier. So that's just kind of how Buck Bean got started, and thank you very much for watching.